Hi guys! I have really enjoyed reading all these Halloween books with you this October and today is Halloween so it's gonna be our very last Halloween book for the year. It's um, called Trick or Treat Little Critter by Gina and Mercer Mayer and that's maybe what you're doing tonight or already did and that's what my plans are for tonight too. I'm gonna to take my nieces and nephews out trick-or-treating because that's what we do to celebrate Halloween. So let's see what trick-or-treating is like for the little critters. <clears throat> Halloween was coming. We had a lot to do to get ready. Here he is pointing at that calendar of October. We went to the store to get our costumes and Halloween candy. Maybe you guys did this too. I did. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. We bought a glow-in-the-dark skeleton for our front door. Ooh, that looks like a spooky fun decoration. There were lots of costumes. It was hard to choose. Dad picked out a creepy mask for himself. Ooh, that is kind of creepy. Like a witch, maybe? My baby brother didn't like the mask very much. Oh no. So dad chose a silly one instead. That's a good choice. Seems like the little brother is much happier with that. My sister and I picked out a bunny costume for our brother. Mom said, mm, maybe next year? Why? Look at this costume. Do you think it's gonna fit on this little baby? I don't think so. Not for probably a couple years. What do you think? It's way too big. It would be cute though. I tried on a cowboy costume, a green monster costume, and a pirate costume. I chose the pirate costume and a really cool bag for my candy. Which costume do you like the best? I think I like the green monster one. My sister chose a princess costume. I thought she looked silly. Dad said, she looks very pretty. I agree, Dad. I think she looks very pretty indeed. The next day, we went to a farm to get a pumpkin. We rode on the f to the field on a big hay truck. The hay made Dad sneeze a lot. I thought it was fun. Do you remember we read um, when they went to the fall festival? Yeah, this says pumpkins, cider, and apples. Did you do something like this this fall? Isn't that fun to do? There were pumpkins everywhere in the field. I found the perfect one, and so did my sister. We had to draw straws. So it looks like maybe he wants this one and she wants that one, but they're probably only going to buy one as a family. So they had to draw straws. Maybe whoever had the biggest straw won, and that's the pumpkin they would get. That's called compromise. Sometimes it's difficult to do, isn't it? When we got home, we put the pumpkin on the table to make it into a jack-o'-lantern. But when Dad started cutting, my sister screamed, Don't hurt my pumpkin! Oh, she's being kind of silly because you can't hurt a pumpkin. They don't have feelings. They can't feel like us. They're a plant. But she probably just thought, I don't want anything cutting my beautiful pumpkin. Dad drew a face on the pumpkin instead. My sister said, it looks cute. I said, it looks dumb. Oh, you know, he could probably use kinder words. What do you think? Yeah. <clears throat> On Halloween day, we had a party at school. We made masks out of paper bags. For the Halloween party, we had orange cupcakes and roasted pumpkin seeds and orange punch. Our teacher made a real jack-o'-lantern. Wow, what a fun day. Did you do anything fun at school for Halloween? 
you have fun. Ooh, look like they're having a good day. As soon as it got dark on Halloween night, my sister and I put on our costumes. Dad put on his mask too. Here they are all dressed up, ready to go. Dad took us trick or treating. The moon was spooky and there were ghosts and goblins everywhere. Are there real ghosts and goblins? No, it's people dressed up or decorations. I saw a lot of my friends. There, there were some cool costumes. One of my friends even had a costume just like mine. So they're both pirates. Cool. At the last house on our block, I noticed a hole in my candy bag. Some of my stuff had fallen out. Oh no, what a bummer. I think my dog found it. Oh no. See the trail of treats? It looks like the dog has been eating some. Oh no. I started to cry. My sister said, I'll share some of my candy with you. Wow, what a nice sister. That was really a very nice thing for her to do, wasn't it? When we got home, we dumped all our candy on the floor and divided it up. Mom said, I've never seen so much candy. Why, that reminds me of when I was a kid. My brothers and sisters would dump all of our candy and then we would sometimes trade the candy we didn't like and maybe they liked it we would trade and we also made sure that there weren't any candy we weren't supposed to have if i'm really careful i bet i can make my candy last all the way until next halloween well maybe what do you think do you think he can do that i don't know he's probably going to be pretty tempted my brother, when I was growing up, he used to keep his Halloween candy for almost all the way to Christmas. He was really good at keeping it. Well, I hope you had a, just a wonderful Halloween day. If you are going trick-or-treating, or maybe you already went trick-or-treating, I hope that was a lot of fun. Or whatever you're doing tonight, I hope it's a, it's just a wonderful, spooky day for you. Um, and getting up coming up next is going to be Thanksgiving time. We've got a lot of fun books for that, too. All right. Happy Halloween. Love ya. Bye.